This tutorial is for third grade, module two, lesson eight. In this lesson, we will continue looking at grams and kilograms. The directions say Tim went to the market to buy fruits and vegetables. He weighed some string beans and some grapes. And we need to determine the weight of each of those. If I look at my string beans, I have a blow up of the reading on the scale. Looking at the markings on my scale, I can see we have 450 grams followed by 460 grams. There is a mark showing the midpoint. The midpoint would be 455 grams. Next, if I go from 460 grams, the next marking would be 470 grams. And again, the midpoint would be 465 grams. The arrow on my scale points to just one gram less than the midpoint. So if the midpoint is 465 grams, the weight would be 464 grams. Moving on to my grapes, I have 350 grams and 360 grams. The midpoint would be 355 grams, and that's exactly where the arrow is pointing. So the grapes weigh 355 grams. The next question says to use tape diagrams to model the following problems. Kara and her brother, James, got weighed at the doctor's office. Kara weighed 35 kilograms and James weighed 43 kilograms. What is Kara and James's total weight? I'll start by writing an answer statement with a blank for where my answer will go. I'll say together, Kara and James weighed blank kilograms. Now we'll draw tape diagrams to model this problem. I'll start by drawing a tape for Kara and her tape will be labeled as 35 kilograms since that's how much she weighed. Now James was 43 kilograms which is more so we'll make his tape a little bit longer showing 43 kilograms and we'll include a question mark that answers my final question. I know that I need to find the total of their two tapes all together. So we just have to add 35 kilograms and 43 kilograms. I'm going to do that addition using expanded form addition, meaning I'm going to break the 35 into 30 and 5, and I'll break the 43 into 40 and 3. I'll add my 1's, 5 and 3 is 8, and I'll add my 10's, 30 and 40 is 70. Now I'll combine those two answers, 70 and 8 is 78. That means together, Kara and James weighed 78 kilograms. The next question asks, how much heavier is James than Kara? Again, I'll start by writing an answer statement. I'll say that James is blank kilograms heavier than Kara. I'm going to start by drawing the same tape diagrams I did for the previous question. So for Kara, we'll show her tape of 35 kilograms. And James was 43 kilograms. The answer to the question that shows us how much heavier James is is the portion of James tape that would be equal to this empty space because this portion is showing the more than part. Now in order to figure that out I can consider James's weight as my whole, Kara's is one part, and the empty spot is the other part. So if I take my whole, subtract one part, I get the missing piece. To subtract 43 minus 35, I'm actually going to do this on a number line. One way to show the difference between two numbers is to add up on the number line. So if I start at 35 and I make a jump of 5 to 40, then I can jump three more hops to get to 43. That tells me that the difference between 43 and 35 is 8. And James is 8 kilograms heavier than Kara. The next question says, Jared estimated that his house plant is as heavy as a 5 kilogram bowling ball. 
draw a tape diagram to estimate the weight of three houseplants. For my answer statement, I'll say three houseplants weigh about blank kilograms. I'm going to start by showing a tape for my first houseplant, and it's about five kilograms, and I'll call that plant one. And then I'll add a piece on for my second house plant, which is also about five kilograms. And I'll add a third piece on for the third house plant. Again, that's about five kilograms. And the answer to my question then is, what is the estimated weight of all three house plants? In order to figure this one out, I can skip count. I can count 5, 10, 15 kilograms. That means three house plants weigh about 15 kilograms. My last question says Jane and her eight friends went apple picking. They shared what they picked equally. The total weight of the apples they pick is shown to the right. How many kilograms of apples did each person get? For my answer statement, I'll say Jane and her eight friends each get blank kilograms of apples. Now I can see on my scale that they have 27 kilograms altogether. So I'm going to start by showing a tape and we'll label that tape as the 27 kilograms. Now we need to divide that 27 kilograms across nine people because we have Jane and her eight friends. That makes nine people. So I'll divide my tape into nine equal pieces. Let's do four on this side and five on this side. Now in order to divide 27 across the nine groups, I could think of a division problem. 27 divided into nine groups would give me three kilograms in each group. If I can't do that basic fact division, I can distribute my 27 grams equally across the nine boxes. And here's how I can do that. I can start by giving each box one kilogram. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've used up nine of my kilograms out of the 27. I can give each box another kilogram. When I do that, I've used up 18 of my kilograms, so I can give each box yet another kilogram. Now I've used all 27 of my kilograms, and each person then gets 3 kilograms of apples. So we'll include that in our answer statement. Jane and her 8 friends each get 3 kilograms of apples.